Hello, happy Saturday. You're probably wondering why you are seeing my closet. If you do not follow me on Instagram, short and sweet, I am very sick today. I am getting over a nice flu bug that I got from the cast of Annie. So right now I am feeling real good and I figured I would do a nice, simple and easy um, updated stockpile tour. So right here, this closet here is my stockpile. If you were following me during No Spend in January, you know that I completely stocked this closet. <clears throat> Excuse me. If you're just joining, I have the flu, so I'll be hiding behind the camera today. But in this closet, I do not minimize anything. I keep a big six to one year supply, six month to one year supply, excuse me, of toiletries. Hi, you guys. I will be answering your guys' comments. I do have my laptop here in the corner of my closet. Real quick, and I know this is not a house tour. Office, very dirty bedroom, bathroom closet. This is my upstairs area. Hi, you guys. Sorry, flu-ridden female here today, but let's do a quick updated stockpile tour, and then I will read your comments, and then I will get out of here. Goal is eight minutes today. So it doesn't look terribly different. I've definitely used a lot of stuff, but this is my stockpile. This is what I essentially live on and I couponed a lot of this stuff. A lot of this went on sale in January. And lucky for me, these things do not expire. So a very quick tour. Um, these, I think, were like 10 for 10. And I had a 50 cent off coupon for any Kroger beauty or bath product. So I got some mouthwash. Behind it is my very big, well, it used to be bigger, collection of suave shampoos and conditioners. I don't go through conditioner as much as I usually do because I only wash my hair twice a week tops. I use dry shampoo if I have anything big coming that I need to have like good hair for and I do an updo. Dry shampoo, ladies, not only adds good texture, it lets you go a couple more days without washing your hair. I've got more simple products because these were on sale once. Hair products, lotions, Shave gels are not easy to get for free. These rarely go on sale 10 for 10, but every once in a while they do. And I either have 50 cent off coupons at double or very rarely Pure Silk will have a dollar off coupon. These, I remember, were, I believe, 25 cents a piece. They were on sale 10 for 10, and I had a 75 cent off coupon. They wouldn't double it because some Kroger's do not double anymore, which breaks my heart. So these were a quarter. So this is a dollar's worth of toothpaste, uh, chapstick because Ohio has not decided if it's going to be spring or stay winter for a while. Where do I get my coupons, asked Julie. Usually newspapers. My neighbors here in my complex still get newspapers, so I clip from them. And every once in a while, coupons.com. But I have not couponed in months. This is the stockpile I have been living on since January. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, face wash. This is stuff my mom gave me, and I love it. I use it very sparingly because it's really nice. Um, hand soap, moisturizer, more face washes. I get these little tiny toothpaste samples, a bunch of free toothbrushes, a lighter because I do keep candles upstairs. There is my toilet paper stockpile, makeup I don't use, lotions, uh, a thermometer because if you're just joining, I have the flu today, so that's why you're not seeing my very, very sick face. Oh, thank you. So we give a thumbs up for the flu. I keep a lot of Q-tips here, feminine products, uh, cotton balls, and these are cotton squares. Yeah, cotton squares, feminine products. I actually use male razors because I think they work just as well. This is Gillette Mach 3. I've had these <clears throat> for a while. Um, again, feminine products, AccuView Oasis contact lenses. These I don't coupon. I just got these from visiting the eye doctor. Flossers just because they're easier to travel with. Uh, sunscreen, even though I haven't needed to use that yet. And then my castmates got me this like fast fashion emergency kit. It's got like needle and thread, chapstick, band-aids, just like anything you would need during a show if something breaks. It's a little bit hard to open, so I'll leave it shut, but this was very sweet. And thank you to Sierra and my cast of the last show I did, which was Titanic. They got me this. But these are the products that I essentially have been living off of. And once again, I did one big couponing session back in January to stock up for all of these. And again, this is all just um, beauty and bath, 
Makeup, once again, that I don't use right now is down here just, gonna, just because I am trying not to overstock my bathroom. So I keep some stuff in boxes here. My little brother got me a Turby Twist, which are these little shower caps you can use if you want to keep your hair wet or dry. And then I did do the Bath and Body Works uh, shopping spree with Christopher Sisters around Christmas and New Year. And I've already burned through a few candles. Uh, my makeup mirror, so if I'm doing makeup and I really need to focus on what I'm doing, I have this mirror. Extra hairspray. If you remember, Charlotte decided that her litter box wasn't good enough, so she has peed the bed. Curlers, and then these are my hair extensions from when I used to do, like, Cedar Point Six Flag shows. We'd have fake ponytails, and then I would curl my fake hair. I don't use these as much. Every once in a while, if it's really hot and I have a summer show or a concert, I will pop that hair extension in. It's just a ponytail clip with, like, a beautiful piece of fake hair. But, again, oh, and then towels up above. And then an extra set of shampoo and conditioner for when all of this runs out. Once again, if you wanted to know when I stocked up on all this, it was the second week of January. So this stockpile has gotten me through over three months of living. You can tell I am running low on things like soap. This is my last bar of soap. I don't have any more gel, any, uh, sorry, I don't have any more gel body wash, excuse me. So that would be something I'll be on the lookout for. But I find that bar soap is not bad at all. And I do need to get rid of some samples and I've got some travel coming up in the spring that will help me get rid of that. But really the stuff I like to focus on is the shampoo conditioner because as a lady, that stuff gets very, very pricey. If you're watching this, let me know what you guys stockpile and how much you get it for. Margaret asks, how much did you spend on items in your stockpile with coupons? Okay, let's do this very quickly. This was a dollar with coupon, um, 50 cents, a dollar 25. How do I remember all this? These were free. These Suave Professionals went on sale two for three dollars. I had a 75 cent off coupon and I went the week that Kroger in my town allowed doubling. They don't always. So the Suave Professionals were 100% free. Uh, Trader Joe's does not have sales, so I forget how much this was. I want to say like $4. I just wanted to try it out. It really helped take off my stage makeup. So I keep it here because I only use it when I have stage makeup on. It's like um, an Argon coconut oil cleansing cleanser for your face, I guess. Paul Mitchell products don't go on sale. Again, I keep them here to keep them sparingly. And stuff back here I've had for a long time. They're just my really pricey hair products that I don't use every day. Uh, free stocking stuffers. Oh, thank you for telling me I'm beautiful when I have the flu. That's so nice of you. Uh, the Vaseline was a dollar because I had a dollar off any Vaseline product. Gift from my mother. 25 cents with coupon. Uh, these were free with coupon, but very rarely will you ever get Pure Silk for free. They were on clearance and there were only two left. 25 cents for toothpaste. Avalon Organics was from my mother. These toothbrushes were completely free. This came in a pack of three for 50 cents for bars of soap. Uh, this was under a dollar. This is generic Kroger brand cotton swabs. And I just had like a regular coupon for any Kroger Bath and Beauty product. Uh, these stay free pads were completely free. They were on sale two for four dollars for these packs. And I had two dollars off any stay free product 12 count or more. And I think these are 16 counts of pads. These panty liners were 55 cents. Uh, Kroger tampons here. I don't remember the price of these. I actually have more feminine products in my laundry room, which is over there. The last time I gave a tour of my closet, somebody said, there's no way this is all you live on for feminine products. And I completely had forgotten. I keep more feminine products and my laundry detergent in my laundry room. And I have two big jugs of laundry detergent and another pack of pads and panty liners in there. Oasis, other than the joy of health insurance. I know Desiree, she wants to go outside. This is not of a coupon because I just needed to get the smell of cat urine out of my guest mattress. A dollar for the rave. These are normally $24, very pricey for candles, but we went the very last day of 2017 and I think they were $8 a piece, which is still not super cheap, but I really like the Bath and Body Works and I was like, this is my Christmas gift to me is my stockpile you guys i have to let you go i will answer your comments 
Um, once I go downstairs, make some lunch, drink some tea, probably going to take a nap, and I will jump on to the live stream so I can read your guys' comments. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry I am so sick. I will see you later this week. I'm sorry there was no Thursday video. It'll be back up on Tuesday, Thursday, another live stream on Saturday. On your way out, if you would give this video a thumbs up, that would be fantastic. And I will see you guys later. Let me know what things you have in your stockpile and where you get them. Bye.